Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna to work on more equations. And of course, we cannot get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing more equations. Woohoo! Oh, you think it's fun, what? huh? It's so much fun. What? Why don't I go ahead and triple your homework size? What? Uh-huh. Let's get started right there. Okay, Charlie. In our last presentation, we were solving equations like this using the reciprocal method. But in this presentation, we're going to clear fractions using the lowest common denominator, or kung fu those fractions. All right, Charlie. Now, remember, we have to look at both of our fractions and look at their denominators and determine what is the lowest common denominator for both those, Charlie. Six. Very nice. And now, Remember, the multiplication property of equality says if you multiply one side by six, you must multiply the other side by six. And there we go. Now, let's start kung fuing these fractions, Charlie. Three goes into six. Two. And two times four. Eight. Is eight. But remember, it's an eight x. Now, on the right-hand side, Charlie, two goes into six. Three. And three times seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Very nice. Now, how do we get the one x, Charlie? Divide by 8. Divide both sides by 8, and x equals what? 21 over 8. 21 over 8. There you go. Very nice there. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, don't get scared. We're going to use the force. Here we go, Charlie. Now, remember, our denominators are 2, 3, and a 6. Don't just look at one side. You must look at both sides, Charlie. Now, what's our LCD? 6. Very nice. Now, here, we're going to multiply the left side by 6 and also the right side by 6. But on the right-hand side, we're going to have to use what property, Charlie? Distributive property. That's right. So, here we go. Left-hand side by 6. Now, that 6 has to be distributed to the 5 thirds. And then the 6 has to be distributed to the 5 6. Remember, Charlie, the distributive property. That's right. You got it. Now, let's kung fu now. 2 goes into 6. 3. And 3 times 3? 9. Very nice there, Charlie. 3 goes into 6. 2 times. 2 times 5. 10 is 10. And 6 goes into 6. 1 times. And 1 times 5. 5 is 5. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's put our work over there. 9x equals, what's 10 plus 5, Charlie? 15. Very nice there. Now, to get the 1x, we have to divide both sides by what? 9. 9, that's right. Because 9 over 9 is 1 over 1, which is 1x. That's what we want. Now, does 15 over 9 reduce? Yes. What number divides evenly into a 15 and a 9? A 3. That's right. Now, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 9 divided by 3? Three? 3. Is 3. So what's our final answer? 5 over 3. Very nice there, Charlie. Now that we're warmed up, let's do a tough one. Now, don't get scared. Just relax, Charlie. Just relax. Go ahead. Just relax. There you go. All right, don't get carried away now. What? Okay, now, Charlie, we have two fractions. They're on the right-hand side. What is our LCD? Six. That's right. Now, what do we have to do? Multiply both sides by six. That's right. Both sides by six. Now, the left-hand side is just six times two x. Now, what property do we have to do on the right-hand side, Charlie? The distributive property. That's right. The distributive property. So, this is a good dance move, huh? Anyway, let's go on here. All right, Charlie, now, we got to distribute the 6 to the 3 halves, and then the 6 to the 2 thirds, and don't forget the 6 to the 4. Everything has to be multiplied by a 6. All right, Charlie, now, left-hand side, what's 6 times 2x? You better not miss this. 12x. Very nice then, Charlie. Now, it's Kung Fu. 2 goes into 6, 3, and 3 times 3, 9. Very nice there, Charlie. Now go to the next one. 3 goes into 6. 2. And 2 times 2? 4. Very nice. Now, don't forget. 6 times 4? 24. It's 24. That's right. Now, let's take our work up over there. We have a 12x. Now, Charlie, what's 9 subtract 4? 5. And 5 plus 24? 29. 29. Very nice there, Charlie. All right. Now, remember, we have to get the 1x by itself. So we have to divide both sides by 12. That's right. And the 12s cancel. Give us our 1 over 1, which is the 1x, which is what we want. 
Now bring us home, Charlie. What's our answer? 29 over 12. Very nice there, Charlie. Anyway, that's enough for today. That was a good presentation, and we'll see you all again soon.